Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. Today I've got a big one for you. Fortnite Epic has started sending out in real life uh, teasers. ARG, alternate reality game it's called. They've done this in the past where they use real life, our earth, uh, real people to tease things that are going to happen in the Fortnite world. And, and that's what's happening. It's a little messy though, so I've kind of gathered all the information so you can understand it here in one place. Stick around for the entire video. You're not going to want to miss it. Touch that like button for me. Boom. I bribe you with a, a cute, cuddly picture. You hit the like button. All right? Not, not necessarily ethical, but hey, it works. You, you guys hit the like button more than ever when I shove a cute animal in your face <laughs> so we're gonna roll with it we're gonna start right away with all the in real life stuff because i do have a bunch of other things but let's just start with this all right uh so first uh the first season seven teasers were sent to pop popular australian and english content creators uh loser fruit in the little woods and aussie antics uh this was at 6 a.m this morning and you can see some of the photos here there's a the cd there's a phone number, and then there's a DVD player with a video, all right? And uh, all the images say they are coming, all right? Uh, obviously some version of Alien, something in the sky, something from another planet, another loop, another world, I don't know. <laughs> Something's coming, all right? I'm showing you the different photos there. So this was at 6 a.m. Uh, this morning, uh, but from then more people started getting it. Ali A got one, Cypher PK. Uh, we're getting all these in real life packages with with teasers. Um, so I, I'm showing you some of the footage here. The the first one there is from Ozzy Antics and uh, on his DVD player, and you can kind of see the area. So no, at this point, no one has explored these areas. Okay, the theory is right now that these areas are going to actually end up having things in them. Right? We've seen in the past they've planted in real life llamas right around the world and uh and people in the fortnite community were all working together to find them uh, around the world like it's, it's a cool thing so i think that might be what, what ends up happening here but as of now no one has found anything in these videos uh, of course i had cypher's video going there as well so the different dvds that are being sent to each youtuber uh streamer whatever they play different videos different locations okay different symbols now here's a uh uh, a collage of all the different ones we know so far. There's a UK video, Australian video, and a Texas video. Again, I'm sure these real life locations are going to matter here in the coming days. But at this point, nothing's been found, like I said. But I'll keep you updated once we know more. So that's the kind of the DVD, all right? Now, here are all of the season seven teaser posters that were spotted and received by content creators, okay? This is where we're gonna, again, this stuff's all coming out in the last hour or two. So just a quick reminder, if you are not subscribed to the channel, this is the time to do so. Turn those noties on. Uh, it looks like the, this next season is going to be a big one, uh, specifically storyline wise. Uh, is when they do when they do this amount of teasers this far away from the season. We still have two weeks. Uh, it, it, in the past, it's ended up to be a really important season. So I'm your guy. I'll keep you up to date on all things Fortnite. You just gotta get here. All right. So you've been looking at these things for a while. We don't really know what much of it means, right? There's different symbols. There's different numbers. I'm hoping people that are a lot smarter than I am are going to dig into this and, I don't know, <laughs> combine all their knowledge, find some weird uh, Morse code, coded language in here or something. But, so there's that. All right, I'm just giving you all the pieces. And then uh, there was also the a phone number that was attached uh, to this package. All right, so, of course, people started to call the phone number. And here is the audio uh, on the other line uh, when, you, when you make that call. Now, Rush, what was that? That sounded like nothing. Well, if you've been a fan of Fortnite, a fan of my channel for a long time, you know we instantly got to go to the spectrogram. And I guess it's like the image that's created by the, the audio waves. And here's what we get. So uh, that was the point of the audio in the phone call, is there's this symbol that's generated when you put that audio into spectrogram. So 
Again, don't know what the symbol means yet. We're still waiting. Things are going to be coming out every day, I'm sure, uh, over these next couple weeks as, as people start start putting pieces of the puzzle together. Okay. The final thing we have is, is from one of the posters. Uh, this symbol at the spire is on the postcards that are being sent to random people in the U.S. So yeah, one of the symbols we know matches up to the spire there. Okay. Uh, so that's where we're at, man. That's kind of the real life. Uh, I want to hear right now before we, there's still some big things to talk about here. So stick around. But before we talk about those things, uh, leave your comment. What, what do you think of all this? Any opinions, any theories to add? This is one where I love reading all the comments and, uh, and seeing what you guys come up with. Cause again, there's some of you, not all, some of you are much smarter than I am. All right. <laughs> not going to give it to all of you, right? I gotta be at least middle of the pack or something like that. Well, uh, we don't have to argue about it. A legendary drum shotgun was added this update, but it isn't referenced anywhere. I don't know what's going to be used for. It also has a price value for the NPC sales. Uh, and of course, so you, you see the damage there. Just multiply it by 10 pellets. Uh, so 53 damage and then 1.25 times that if you want to get the headshot damage, right? So that, that w with that in mind, there's your stats. And I mean, yeah, drum shotgun... Not my favorite weapon in the past, right? Kind of reminds me of the primal shotgun early on. Maybe maybe mid-nerf, right? It's obviously super nerfed right now, but at the start of the season, it was insane. Uh, but yeah, legendary one, possibly gonna be sold by an NPC next season or something based on this being added back. We'll have to see. A new LTM called Drop Wave was also added to the files. The storm moves quickly and deals more damage. Everyone starts with the same loadout. Win three rounds for the victory royale. Kind of sounds cool, right? I'm always down for a new LTM. You guys know me. Keeps the game fresh. And uh, yeah, all right. I'll be, I'll be excited to try that one out. Now, let's get more info on the aliens and the end of this season. All right, from Hypex. More info. When they abduct you, they restore your health and shield to 100. We knew that one. They have a max capacity of 20 players. That's a lot, man. They can mass abdu abduct a squad and enemies at the same time. They select abductees before abducting them. They appear from the first zone. <laughs> so, yeah, like you could be having a multi-team battle. We played uh, squads a couple nights ago for update night. And uh, yeah, there were multiple, you know, multi-squad battles going on. 12, 13 guys at once. That would just be chaotic and hilarious to me if you get abducted by aliens. And you all just get, you know, full health, full shield, full fight reset. And uh, I mean, it'd be funny if you were the ones that were losing, but it might be angering if you were in the lead and then you just get plopped to a, a random spot on the map and the fight continues. Like, I just really want to see how this plays out and how this works. Uh, it, it sounds cool, man. I'm excited. So that's in, some info on it. Uh, some even more info. It takes three seconds to select and warn abductees. It takes two seconds to abduct. Only one spawns, then they increase to five. They appear 15 seconds after every storm. Their chances of spawning in zones order, uh, you can see there, 10, 20, 40, 80, 100. So they will definitely be at the end of every game, the fifth zone, and uh, into the likeliness increases with each, each zone. Geez, that is, yeah, they're fast. So five seconds total from the time you are warned to when you're abducted is five seconds. <laughs> Oh, this will be funny, man. This will be a funny mechanic. All right, let's. Uh, so there it is. There, there's all the info. I was waiting for that because I wanted to know exactly how these work. We don't know. Uh, we don't know when this is happening. My uh, uh, guess is next week, like our mini update, right? Uh, we've been having weekly updates basically. So on Tuesday would be my guess, but there's there's no info about a start date before the end of the season, though. Is, is the answer. There's also a, uh, a street sign that should be somewhere in the map right now. I hadn't talked about it, but just more alien abduction teasers. Peely's involved in this one, right? Next up, in this update, an effect for a currently unknown pickaxe codenamed Rockstar has been added to the files. Pickaxe seems to be related to a currently unknown skin as the pickaxe folder is called Rockstar Female. Of course, that's codename. You got any guesses, right? People go in GTA right away. <laughs> no idea what it is, but just uh, thought, yeah, I'm a news channel, letting you know on everything. Couple big ones to end it off. First is uh, a Reddit user, WhiteStar75. I'm calling it first. This will be the first skin to unlock at the start of the new Battle Pass, just like Jonesy this season. I completely agree. 
I really think we're going to get the foundation as a tier one skin. Uh, don't think he's worthy for the tier. I think it's an epic skin, but I don't think they'd give us him as a tier 100. You, they like to surprise with the tier 100. If we've already seen this skin, we're excited about it, but make it the tier one, right? Just like the Jones. Like they played the last battle pass here perfectly with Jones being tier one. And, uh, and uh, secret skin, they've been starting to make the secret skin a surprise again. So again, it wouldn't make sense for an already revealed skin, the foundation, to be our mystery uh, battle pass cosmetic. All right, uh, that's my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Let me know if you agree, disagree, what your guess is. And finally, something fun to end off our video. Uh, Gibson TV made a uh, a trailer. I get it going in the background for Beast Boy. If if he had a trailer, Beast Boy arrives to the Fortnite Island. This would be it. And uh, it looks official, man. I thought this was epic. I just wanted to throw it in here at some point. I was going to do it earlier on, but let's just end this video with a, a big old gorilla transformation, right? <laughs> I love that skin, man. Okay, that's all I got for you, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed the video today. Again, comment, comment, comment. I want to hear what your thoughts are. If I see something interesting or, uh, you know, uh, plausible, I'll throw it in the video tomorrow or the next day. Uh, I should be back for another one based on all the news we're getting tomorrow. So, uh, or, you know, that we've been getting lately. So I should have another video tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Touch that like button on your way out. Code the camp and rusher. The item shop is never a bad idea. And uh, make sure to subscribe. Take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.